game is a work of fiction. And a talking squirrel, like myself, is also completely fictional. All of the characters, places, groups, and so on in this game have no connection to anything. Now then, who might be the person reading this message right now? Hmm? Oh, uh, <laughs> uh I, I suppose this is neither the time nor place. Bye-bye! <laughs> Kigai have always plagued us. Humanity has fought the long defeat. Space offered us renewed hope. But even that escape route went up in flames. And so, I ended up here. Passed away with nothing to my name. When I arrived, I saw her standing before me. I knew at once that my summer begun. This is the story of how I found my own home. Think about it. 
I'll bet that at this very moment she feels just as nervous as me. Good morning! Or good evening? Are you still feeling jet-lagged? Can you understand everything I'm saying? <sighs> Thank goodness. You're Nini, correct? Uh-huh. I guess I should have started with that question instead of all those other ones. But, oh well. As you can tell, I'm also a bundle of nerves right now. Let's see. So as the Oyamas, and by that I mean my father, probably have told you already, my name is Konoha Oyama. Call me Konoha. When I heard we were related, I dug through our family tree. Turns out we're cousins. First cousins once removed. Though I probably have more of an aunt's heir, at least to you. And that's complicated, right? Well, I think it's enough just to say that we're related. We're the same age, too. I doubt it'd be much fun having a not your age. Anyway, moving on. This is Ashihara Nakatsu, a nice little town. You'll be living here from now on. I'm sure it can't compare to living in space. We're just a normal, old-fashioned sort of place. But you don't need to look so worried about that. They sent me away to live here ages and ages ago, so trust me when I say you'll get used to it. Home is where you make it, as they say. Right, I've talked long enough. Why don't we go to our house now? Isn't it shockingly peaceful? Out of any town in Japan, and probably the whole world, Ashihara has suffered the least Kagai-related damage. But besides that, there's nothing particularly special about this place. And what's more, no one has any idea why the Kagai don't attack. Most people just chalk it up to us having extremely good luck. sure has a lot of hills. Mimi, you sound like you're really out of breath. We're almost there, though. I heard that after coming down to Earth, you did strength training for about half a year to prepare for a life with gravity. But it must still be very hard to adapt. Growing up in space must be pretty hard compared to Earth. Huh? Not really? Well, of course I'd expect you to think that way. Right! Ta-da! This here is your home now. And mine too, of course. It's all wood. It's way too big! It's 82 years old! And the Oyama family pays every single one of our bills, so it's free! Isn't that just great? Oh, the age? I mention it because most houses are rebuilt quite quickly here, so you won't find many other buildings as old as this one. The other homes in Ashihara may look ancient, but I bet they're only around 50 years old. Houses in Japan are normally rebuilt every two or three decades. Even with our old shrines, we often rebuild them as well. As for why we do that, Japan's environment is hard on buildings, so they need lots of maintenance to stay in good shape. Well, when you get down to it, maybe people just enjoy doing the same thing over and over again. Not like that's a bad thing. Here in Japan, that sort of repetition is pretty normal. From time to time, it can still feel suffocating, though. Since your grandma moved out, you're going to be staying in what used to be her room. Make yourself at home. Mm -hmm. 
Where is she now? I have no idea. She said she was born to wander, and then, poof, she just decided to take off. Fussing over someone like her just isn't worth it, and because of that, I don't think you should worry too much about her either. Honestly, I've never met a less responsible adult. Right. Well then, let's eat. I decided to splurge a bit today, so we're having sushi. What? You've never eaten raw fish before? I'm really sorry about that. You're going to encounter lots of stuff you consider weird. But don't get discouraged. I want you to have a great time on Earth. If you just give up after getting abandoned, then you'll never enjoy life. Besides, I'll make breakfast for both of us tomorrow morning, so come eat whenever you get up. I'll wake you up if you oversleep, just so you know. We don't have school tomorrow, but we need to take care of some stuff related to your transfer, so we'll go there anyway. Alright, have a nice sleep. Earth's gravity weighs me down like a sack of bricks. This is the worst. I don't think I'll ever get used to it. That was one hell of a day. I'm shocked to know I actually have a relative here. And we're pretty much the same age. That's an even bigger shock. So tired. Gravity's really taken its toll on me. Konoha mentioned something about the Kegai avoiding this town. I wonder if that's true. I awake to Earth's gravity weighing me down. I feel as if I'm being crushed. I hear Konoha's voice saying breakfast is ready. So I head to the dining area. Good morning. Did you sleep well? Apparently we had an earthquake last night. You slept so well you didn't even notice? That's great! I think you deserve an extra egg for going to bed on time. Earthquakes aside, like I mentioned yesterday, we need to visit the school. Uh, no need to feel nervous. We're just gonna complete your registration. Besides, everyone's totally normal. Promise. Actually, I think you'll be most shocked by how few classmates you have. Our school's in the middle of nowhere, after all. Okay, eat up, eat up! Let's plan to head out at 8. Oh, right! Before I forget. You need this. Otherwise, you'll be in trouble if you want to enter the house without me. By the way, Please don't bring home any of your friends, and definitely no girlfriends. Only family is allowed here, so that means you and me, as well as your grandma, of course. Why is that, you ask? Naturally, I'm fine with you around, but other boys coming to visit all the time makes me feel kind of nervous. I just don't like it. I won't invite any of my friends over to our house either. That's just fair, right? We're really close to the school now. Hang in there! Here's our little 
school. It's a pretty nice one, but very small. Counting you, we now have four students. Uh, but one more student should transfer here quite soon. So hopefully you won't feel too lonely in the meantime. Huh? No, no. The lack of students isn't just the Kagai's fault. Japan has low birth rates. The population's been dropping for ages. I'll take care of the enrollment stuff. So why don't you go find our teacher, Miss Cooney, and familiarize yourself with the school? You can't miss her. She's the only teacher here. Guess I should go find that teacher. You've arrived. Mr. Oyama, I welcome you to Ashihara High School. As you may know, I'm one of your teachers here. My name is Kunie. These days, Kagai-related damage is increasing everywhere you look. But studying is still a student's sole responsibility. So keep it together, and please work hard for my sake as well as your own. Your grades will see steady improvement, and in turn, so will my reputation. It's truly win-win. So study hard, even if you must sacrifice sleep to succeed. Having a hard-working student like you enrolled here, I'm frankly relieved. Our school has some very unique individuals. Ah, oh, but no need to worry about Konoha. She's both serious and studious. Hardly any other students are motivated to study at all. If that were the only... No, I've said too much already. In any case, for this very reason, I expect great things from you. Thanks for waiting! Oh, hello, Miss Cooney! Ah, hello there. His registration is complete? Since he took so much time to prepare everything we needed in advance, all I had to do was sign the forms. All due in no small part to your daily efforts, and an efficient use of your social standing. Thank you very much. Okay, Mimi and I should head back home now. Right. The supplementary lessons I'm offering start tomorrow, so don't forget. Let me guess. I bet Miss Cooney told you to study hard for your mutual benefit or something like that. She can be pretty blunt. I think that's her only form of communication. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if that's the real reason why she's out here. Ah, that's right! We need to buy ingredients for dinner! How about chicken and eggs over rice? Oya means parent, and ko means child. So we call it oyakodon. managed to cook up something you could actually eat today. Now that I think about it, I should have asked you what you liked from the get-go. Awful at talking it out. Good at jumping the gun. Your grandma always said that about me. It's just a bad habit of mine, you know? Well, we've almost finished getting you settled in here. So tomorrow onward, it's all up to you. Mimi, you're free to do whatever you like. It's summer vacation, after all. Miss Cooney's extra summer lessons aren't mandatory or anything, so you don't have to go. Studying is important, but your life here and in Japan is even more important when it comes to getting used to things. I honestly wouldn't mind showing you around Ashihara myself, but I also don't want to act like a mother hen. Uh, yeah... That's another bad habit of mine. You should never ever have a pet, because you'll smother the life out of it. 
Your grandma used to say that to me as well. Still, you can always come to me if you need anything. We were both abandoned. But at least we have each other now. And so, day two came to an end. This feels less like abandonment, at least in my case, and more like a crash landing. At any rate, I doubt I'll go back to space anytime soon. I need to get used to living here, but how do I do that? I'll have to figure it out myself. Miss Cooney arrived. It's time for class. Do your best for both me and yourselves. After that, she suddenly stopped moving. Atop the desk stood a girl with fox-like ears. She's small, but has a high and mighty air. It's pretty underwhelming. No one seems to pay her any attention. They keep talking. I'm being serious! The Kagai are coming! They're almost here! They've probably managed to possess someone already and are amassing power as we speak. We must do something soon, or else they'll consume their host in a mere five days! Everybody, steal yourselves for battle! must seek the blessings of the gods and storm Yomotsu Hirasaka before it's too late! Huh? Before I can process this, another student drags the fox-eared girl off the desk. I have absolutely no idea what's going on. 
Usually Bunny's a very sweet, responsible girl, but now and then she has a little episode. Oh, she's in good health, I think. It's her quirk. Yeah, her quirk. Don't worry about it. I was surprised the first time it happened, but I got used to it. And our teacher was fine afterward. This planet sure is something. But I do wonder if she's right. Today our class grows by one, for we have a new transfer student. Please make her feel at home here. Introduce yourself. I lack a surname, for reasons of my own. Ichika is what I'm called. Pleased to meet you. For family reasons, Miss Ichika's affairs are shrouded in mystery, but I've been told to mind my own business. Indeed. We only wish to protect all of you, and preserve your happy, peaceful lives. I see. Uh... Well, we should get class started. But... Hmm... A word of warning to you all. The most dangerous thing in this world is single-minded devotion. She sounds displeased, but Ichika seems unfazed. She's like a robot. It may be summer vacation now, but I'm still offering classes in the form of supplementary lessons, right here in this very classroom. Got that? To improve your grades, Please try to attend as many as possible. Compared to studying solo, you'll learn so much more. And even better, if you attend school often, other adults will look on you more favorably. In other words, your social standing will increase. When people respect you, any suggestions you make to them will hold much more weight. Believe me, that's a very useful skill to have. Therefore, always come to school and study hard, for my benefit as well as yours.
pleased to make your acquaintance. I'm Osasa, and so the gods as a divine messenger. Oh my, oh, did you perchance mistake me for a momonga? <laughs> I'm a musasabi. People have long confused those two breeds, for hundreds of years, in fact. Now then, I'm actually here because I have a little present for you. After seeing your progress, a big celestial fan of yours wishes to express their deepest gratitude and ordered me to secretly deliver this lovely gift on their behalf. Do you feel slightly stronger now? <laughs> Congratulations! Well, that's all for now. Bye-bye!
found the entrance to Yomotsu Hirasaka. You did well, child of man! A fine display, Novus. I have no idea how or why, but they both appeared out of nowhere. Oh, Yoyama Godslayer. A Kagai? No, you're not one of them. But what business could you possibly have with our town? This place belongs to humanity. Leave it at once. So you know, I'm not your enemy here. I'm helping humans. I'm a divine messenger sent by a god who sympathizes with your plight. As a matter of fact, I myself am a god. Then you're saying that you came down here of your own volition? But why? You can see just how worried they are about this whole situation. Look! Ini has absolutely no idea what we're talking about. You're going to Yomotsu Hirasaka? And so am I. For for a godslayer like yourself, does every single god but the one you've summoned to do your bidding strike fear into your heart? I see we have no choice. Come, Novus. Keep close to us. Without the power of your demon sight, we cannot possibly make any progress. Don't let her intimidate you. She just might decide to kill you today. I will do no such thing. I would simply use a spell to make him follow my orders. <laughs> you Oyama girls are nuts. Whatever. Let's go.
Take this! I go. Nice teamwork. Now. Nice. 
I gotta be more careful. Are you ready? Wake up. You must wake up. You must end the struggle between the Great Mother and Father and subjugate Ashihara Nakatsukuni. That is the mission you must see to completion. No one has ordered you to do this. In fact, you yourself willed it so. Jet lag? Can you understand everything I'm saying? Ugh, thank goodness. You're Nini, correct? So we meet again. Um, just talking to myself. Let's be even better friends this time. <laughs> <laughs> 